Before we talk about factoring the sum of two squares, let's do a quick review. When you studied arithmetic, you learned that an integer which cannot be factored is called a prime. The first few prime numbers are 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, and 13. So these are integers which are only divisible by themselves in one. You can't factor them into smaller numbers. An integer which can be factored is called composite. That's because they're composed of prime numbers. Let's see some examples. 12 can be factored as 2 times 2 times 3. 35 can be factored as 5 times 7. You can't factor it any further. 5 and 7 are prime. And 22 can be written as 2 times 11. Once again, you can't factor this further. 2 and 11 are prime. So you call this the prime factorization of 22. Now there's something analogous when you're working with polynomials in algebra. Just as some integers were prime and some integers were composite, we have a similar situation with polynomials. A polynomial, which can be factored, is called reducible. So for a few examples, as we've seen in another video that you can factor the difference of two squares. So we can factor x squared minus 9 as x minus 3 times x plus 3. And we can also factor y squared minus 25. It's also the difference of two squares. And it factors as y minus 5 times y plus 5. Now a polynomial which cannot be factored is called irreducible. Here are some examples. Like above, when we factored x squared minus 9, we factored it into x minus 3 times x plus 3. Now it turns out that x minus 3 and x plus 3 cannot be factored further. They're irreducible. Similarly, we saw that we could factor y squared minus 25 as y minus 5 times y plus 5. Now y minus 5 and y plus 5 are also irreducible. You cannot factor them into smaller polynomials. Now it turns out that the sum of two squares, a squared plus b squared, is irreducible. You can't factor it. So for example, x squared plus 4 is irreducible. x squared plus 25 is irreducible as the sum of x squared and 5 squared. And lastly, y squared plus 4z squared is another example of an irreducible polynomial. So the moral of this story is that you cannot factor the sum of two squares. However, there is a little more to this story, and this is an advanced subject. When you first start factoring polynomials, you will notice that all the polynomials you work with have integer coefficients. For example, 3x squared plus 7x minus 1, all the coefficients and the constant term are whole numbers. 2x cubed minus 12, again, whole number coefficients, integer constant. 4x squared minus 9y to the fourth, x squared plus 1. All the examples you tend to see have whole numbers, especially when you're working factor problems. When you expand the set of allowed numbers, some irreducible polynomials will become reducible. So let's consider the example of x squared plus 1. This is the sum of two squares, and it's irreducible if you're only working with integers. But if we expand the numbers that we're allowed to work with, for example, if we're, if we're working with i, the square root of negative 1, then we can factor this. We can write x squared plus 1 is x plus i times x minus i, where i is the square root of negative 1. So be careful when you say x squared plus 1 is irreducible. You really should say x squared plus 1 is irreducible over the integers. Because as we saw above, when you uh, include the number i, you can factor it. Now this fun phenomenon of having a polynomial which is irreducible over one set of numbers but can factor in a bigger set of numbers is studied much further in an advanced math class called abstract algebra.